This critical incident video details an officer-involved shooting that occurred on September 29th, 2021, just before 10.30 p.m. Warning, the following video contains graphic images and language. It is not suitable for all viewers. Shortly before 10.30 p.m., detectives with IMPD's Violent Crimes Task Force and Violence Reduction Team were tracking 31-year-old Jasmine Brame. She was believed to be in an apartment complex in the 8,000 block of Silverleaf Drive. The detectives were observing the area. Ms. Brame was the suspect in an incident where shots were fired into two vehicles in a residence earlier that month. She was also wanted for two active warrants, one for armed robbery and the other for multiple charges, including intimidation, domestic battery, and felony handgun violation. Officers located Ms. Brame as she walked westward through the apartment complex. BRT Sergeant Jones was in full police uniform and fully marked police car when he saw Ms. Brame run across Harcourt Road to the 1900 block of Covey Lane. Sergeant Jones exited his car and gave commands for Ms. Brame to get on the ground and show her hands. Ms. Brame reached towards her waist and took off running around the corner of a fence. It was dark outside and this location has minimal lighting. Sergeant Jones drew his service weapon and followed to where Ms. Brame disappeared around the corner. As Sergeant Jones came around the corner, he saw Ms. Brame standing against the iron fence attempting to hide behind a brick pillar. Sergeant Jones moved closer and saw that Ms. Brame was pointing a gun directly at him. Sergeant Jones discharged his service weapon once, striking Ms. Brame. Ms. Brame fell to the ground and Sergeant Jones kept her at gunpoint until officers could reach him. At the time of this incident, Sergeant Jones' holster was not equipped with a sensor to activate the body-worn camera upon removal of his service weapon. Sergeant Jones activated his body-worn camera using the issued remote immediately after discharging his service weapon. When activated by an officer, the body-worn camera saves the previous 30 seconds of video without audio. It was during this time frame that Sergeant Jones discharged his service weapon. A flash can be seen, but no audio was recorded. Plainclothes VCTF detectives were wearing vests clearly marked with the word police. They responded to the location after Sergeant Jones discharged his service weapon. At the time of this incident, VCTF detectives had not yet been issued body-worn cameras. Recording. Show me your hands. She's got a gun. It's on the ground. Yes. It's on the ground right here. Okay. Show me your hands. Control 511. Go ahead. Shots fired. 8024 Silver Leaf Drive. They've got shots fired over there. Can I have a couple units to start back? Here, here. Oh. Roll over. Advise I've been involved in a police action shooting. See if you can get some uh, medics here. Okay. We'll get you taken care of. Are we okay? Yeah. The gun's back there. Okay. Control, we're taking one into custody. The handgun Ms. Brame had in her possession was recovered. Sergeant Jones and other officers provided medical aid until the arrival of paramedics. Ms. Brame was transported to St. Vincent Hospital and was listed in stable condition. On October 6, 2021, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office filed the following criminal charges on Jasmine Brame for her alleged involvement in this incident. Carrying a handgun without a license, felony five. Resisting law enforcement, felony six. Pointing a firearm, felony six. 
The incident is being investigated by IMPD's Critical Incident Response Team. A separate and independent investigation will be conducted by IMPD's Internal Affairs Unit to ensure compliance with department policy. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office is being consulted throughout the investigative process. This incident will be reviewed by the Civilian Majority Use of Force Review Board. This occurs after the conclusion of the criminal process.